Drivers, start your engines! Yeah, this is Jamie the Board Game Man. This episode, we're going to look at an arcade game that turned into a board game back in 1983. I absolutely loved this game on Atari 2600. Then it became a stand-up arcade game. Then it became one where you can actually get inside and drive. It's... Pole Position by Parker Brothers. It's a part of the arcade game series. So let's head on over to the gamers table and get racing. Boogity, boogie, boogie, let's go racing, boys. It's time for pole position. Okay, so here is the components of the game. You have the racetrack here. You also have these cardboard numbers, one through four. Then you have the racers, green, yellow, blue, and red. And you also have the two black cars, which are considered the rookies in the game. You also have a deck of six cards for each player. They're all cut color-coded with the cars. And you also have the four straightaway pieces right here. But I'll show you how that works in one moment. So there you go with the components. Now we're going to show you the setup. First and foremost, what we're going to do is if it's a four player game, you're going to go ahead and take these four and you kind of kind of maybe shuffle them up, whatever. And each player is going to draw a circle. So let's say blue goes first. Blue chooses this one. He's going to be in the third position. He goes into the third position. Okay, next. Let's say red's going to draw. Red's going to draw the fourth position. So he's going to be in number four. Then we got green is going to go for the first position. He's in the pole position. And obviously yellow must be two. All right. Now why these are color coded, I have no idea because these have nothing to do with the colors of the cars. So I don't know why they, why they just didn't put one, two, three, four. I don't know. But anyway, that is what these four numbers are for. So now we are all lined up ready to race okay and put those away once you do that these are done and they're out of the game you also have the two rookies you're going to put these to the side you're going to use those a little later then you also have the four straightaway tracks and what you're going to do with these is you're going to go ahead and place these along the rubber bumpers here and the these are going to shift throughout the game back and forth you're going to put two on the inside and maybe two on the outside like so to start off the game all right and then after that is all set and ready to go, each player is going to take their color-coded deck of cards, and they're going to put these cards in the order in which they want to race. So you can see you have move five, move four. You also have move rookie. That's when you place a rookie on the board to try to block your other opponents to slow them down. And you also have the shift track, which I was just telling you about. And that's when you actually shift the track. You can choose which one of the four tracks you want to shift over. And a car can be on there when you shift it. So that's, that's the, you know, it's kind of cool how you can do that. And uh, if there's two, then you obviously do the top first and then the second last and so on. Once all the players have determined which cards they want to do in what order, they're going to go ahead and start in the order that's on here. So obviously green is going to go first. Say green went through his stack and he gets move four. So he's going to go ahead and move four. One, two, three, four. Now some things I do want to mention to you. Oh, actually, this goes face up right next to it there. And you can tell, like in real racing, obviously the inside track is usually a lot better than the outside. You have a little less room to cover. That is the same with this game. As you can see, the turns here, the inside lane only takes two spaces while the outside goes four. Same with these turns here. Six on the outside, only three on the inside. So that's something you want to keep in mind too. But as these tracks shift back and forth, you want to make sure that if you take that inside lane, that track is available for you because if that track's over here, guess what? You're stuck here until this track gets put over here and then you go through. So you kind of have to kind of look a little ahead to make sure the tracks are in the line of what you can do. All right. And you cannot pass during the yellow lines. When you're on the yellow lines, say you're right here, you can't go, uh, you know, uh, you can't go this way and then cut them off right here and go and save yourself a space, you can't do that. Once you commit to the turn, you have to stay on that turn until you go to the straightaway. 
Straight away, the, you know, the, straight away is the only time you can pass someone. In this game, passing means you kind of get over in front of them. Okay, so that is something you want to keep in mind. So green did his turn. Now yellow is going to do their turn. Yellow is going to go ahead and it says move to ship track. So obviously he's going to move to first one two, and now he gets to shift the track. Um, let's see. Well, he doesn't want to shift it this way. That's not going to hurt green either way. He's going to go ahead and shift it this way. He's going to shift the track that way. And that's his turn there. Then blue is in third position. Blue is going to go ahead and take his top card, shift track, move two as well. So you guys are going to go one, two, and he gets to shift the track anyway, anywhere he wants to do it like this. And blue is done. Now, the one thing you cannot do is you cannot jump over another racer, obviously. And unfortunately, say that you're blocked. Say you have two cars like this that are like that. And say he were to say move three or move four. Obviously, he wouldn't be able to do that. He would have to go one, two, three, four, because you're blocked. You can't go anywhere else, okay? And that's how that works. And like I just said, you can't jump over a car. You just, ha you just have to waste the rest of your moves. And that's, that's the bummer there. So that is that. And once all the players go through all six of their cards, then obviously you're going to take the cards back, and you're going to go through them again. You're going to put them in whatever order you want to put them in. And then you continue racing. And when they say move rookie, like in this case, I will show you. It says move rookie, move two. Then what you'll do is you're going to take one of these rookies. Say this was the yellow player that pulled that. Obviously, the yellow player would love to put that rookie right there. <laughs> because you can't pass on the yellow line. And he can go right by, no problem. And these guys would be stuck until they got the move rookie card. Then they could take that rookie and move it elsewhere on the board. And there's two of them in the game. So you can shift these two anywhere you want throughout the game to block your other opponents. Just make sure you don't block yourself from moving as well because you're not immune to the rookie if you're the one that put it on there. So you have to be very careful about that. But yeah, if you do that, that's perfect because they cannot go around it with this yellow line being there. Um, but yeah, and that's pretty much uh, how you play the game. The first player to make it from start all the way around back to the finish line is the champion of pole position.